So you want to play Destiny 2 but are a little foggy about the first game? No worries, I got you. If you're new to the series and want to catch up on what happened over the last three years, this article is for you. Likewise if you've got a friend you want to get into the games but don't want to spend an hour explaining everything for the first game, let me help. If you've already played a lot of Destiny, most of this won't be new to you, but hey, maybe you've forgotten a few things over the years. Before we start, big ups to the folks who contribute to the Destiny Wiki for keeping such an orderly database, as well as to YouTuber Bife who made an entertaining and informative 90-minute recap video that I had a really good time watching. Okay, here we go. Big picture lore stuff Destiny has accumulated a space barge's worth of lore over its three-year run, though most of it was relegated to grimoire cards that players unlocked in-game but had to read on the web. Those who took the time to piece everything together were rewarded with a surprisingly well-constructed universe filled with interesting backstory. Which, yeah, rarely actually got shown or talked about in the game. It was still neat. Let's go through a few of the biggest, most important people, places, and events. We'll start with some general history, then go over the stuff that played out over the first three years of Destiny. The Traveler, the Light, and the Darkness at some point in the 21st century, humans discovered a huge sentient sphere on Mars that came to be known as the Traveler. It brought with it the secrets to huge technological enhancements and lifted humanity up to heights we would have taken thousands of years to reach through ordinary evolution. After the Traveler's arrival, humanity entered a peaceful and prosperous period known as the Golden Age during which human lifespans tripled, technological progress hugely accelerated, and we set out to terraform the other planets in our solar system. No one quite knows what the Traveler is but it appears to be some sort of huge sentient robot that goes around waking up civilizations and winning them to its side in an endless war between good and evil. Things were great for a while, and then at some point a vague, sentient malevolent force known as the darkness turned up to ruin everything. It's not entirely clear what happened, but everything went to shit during a period known as the Collapse. Lots of people died. And in the end the Traveler sacrificed itself to win the battle and send the darkness packing. As it died, the Traveler settled over Earth, releasing a horde of tiny ghost robots, each of which carried a bit of the light energy the Traveler held within it. Those ghosts went on to use that light to resurrect an army that would protect the remnants of humanity. The rise of the Guardians using the Traveler's light, ghosts are able to revive long dead people and turn them into unkillable warriors known as Guardians. Guess what? You play as a guardian in Destiny. There are a bunch of notable guardians in Destiny lore, some of whom are historical figures and some of whom play major roles in Destiny 2. We'll go through the most important ones a little later. First let's go through the races that played a major role in the first game. The major races of Destiny humans are, obviously, humans. A few survived the collapse, living in ragged encampments around the wasted surface of Earth. Eventually a large group of humans gathered in the shadow of the now dormant, dead, traveler. With the aid of the guardians, they set up the last city, a bastion of civilization on an otherwise lawless planet. The guardians lived above the last city in a huge tower creatively named the tower. The tower was the player's hub in the first game, it was where you went to buy stuff, cash and rewards, get bounties and do dance moves while waiting for your squad mates to hurry the hell up and get ready to raid. Humans are one of the three playable races in Destiny. The Awoken are a mysterious race of blue-skinned people descended from human colonists who attempted to escape the darkness during the Collapse. They hesitated to get involved with the humans' plight after the Collapse, but eventually they went to war with some of our mutual enemies. They live in the Reef, a massive ring of destroyed colonization ships. They're kind of all dicks, but they're very good looking. You can also play as an Awoken in Destiny. The Exos are some robot people who were apparently made by one of Earth's massive Golden Age research conglomerates. Basically, they're robot humans, and they may be used to be real humans but were transferred into robot bodies. Even the Exos don't know their own full story. They're cool looking, though, and they have neat hair. They're the third playable race. The Fallen are a race of four armed, bipedal harnesses who run around with big knives. Before the Traveler came to Earth, it lifted up the Fallen. The 